If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got what to do first in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. So, guys, this video specifically is for the people who log into this game and they see 30,000 solos, new packs in the store, free stuff, free levels of Ultimate Season, Weekend League, Mud Chant, whatever there's going to be, right? These are for the people who don't know what to do right away because you only have 10 hours in your trial. So, you want to prioritize every last minute of that trial. By the way, by the way guys, pro tip. If you have to go use the bathroom, close your game. If you have to go get the food or the groceries outside, close your game. If you're going to drink, close your game. Every minute counts, especially when you're a muck grinder. But yeah, this video is going to help out everyone who needs to know what to do day one in Madden and how to prioritize. So if you guys need to the channel, guys, as per usual, subscribe. Can we get to 23K in like a day or so, guys? We're only 200 subs away, and this is new Madden, so I'm hoping it goes pretty well. And of course, can we get... 150 likes in this video you guys have been going crazy in the likes if you guys want to support the channel guys all i need from you is a like you don't have to give me money you don't have to give me nothing just just a like a like goes a long way and takes a second out of your day so go do that and if you guys want to be shouted down the poodle squad all you got to do is like the video comment down below poodle squad and you'll be entered to be shouted out today's poodle squad shout out goes to trev got next man let's go like you said thank you so much for the support but yeah let's get into this guy so first things first when you load up matter for the first time you're gonna get a few free packs, right? Not nothing major. You won't be getting your pre-order packs unless you're start unless you're watching this video after Madden came out officially. So you shouldn't get any pre-order packs unless you got an early copy of the game, which in that case, kudos to you. But here's the thing. What should you do first when you open up this game? Right? You're gonna get some free stuff. You're gonna have to play like a preseason solos in the campaign right here. So make sure you guys you're gonna have to get that done. So you'll see them. It's a preseason, you're gonna have to play through it to get in. It's like 10 solos, takes like 10 minutes, not horrible. But once you are in, what should you do, guys? First thing I would prioritize is get every free player you can. You only have 10 hours and you want to know what team you're rocking with, right? Because once you run out of those 10 hours, you want to you want to have been the guy who only got, by the way, pause. Leveling up is hard. It's not, it's not like last year. You can't sit here for four hours, grind one solo and be done with it. So don't, I would not try to max an ultimate season with your 10 hours. That would just be boring and a waste of time for you. You're going to regret wasting all your time on that. Play the solos that you go ahead and play just any solos that get you free players and free stuff. Get all your free rewards. And then Ultimate Season, you would have leveled up a bit. Ultimate Champion as well. Ultimate Champion and Ultimate Season, in my opinion, will be something that you really just want to let grind in the background. Like you're grinding your other stuff. And then you'll focus on that after. And you'll subsequently get levels up and packs for that as well anyways. And you'll be going through that. So Ultimate Season, if you guys don't know, is the new level up method. Almost like a battle pass, if you guys know the reference to that. So what do we want to do first, guys? I would recommend, and here's the thing. To unlock certain solos, you're gonna have to get certain levels and finish certain stuff first. So remember, to get the gridiron um, solos and everything, you're gonna want to play some solos first. So I'm only level two. I'm gonna have to be a slightly higher level. As you guys can see, levels pretty much control just about everything this year, uh, in terms of like what you get, how you unlock things, more so than it has before, in my opinion, which I kind of like actually. So these are the level up stuff right here. So what you want to do first is go into solos. And go play your EA Access Souls if you do have those. That's my first recommendation. The EA Access Souls are right here, the early access. They will give you access to the 88 overall, the 80 plus overall wide receiver pack, which could be pretty good. You could get like a Devontae Adams out of there, a Tyreek kill. There's a lot of potential for getting a pack like that. Then, of course, you get the Mahomes or Brady power up player item. So you definitely want that, of course. You want to power up your Mahomes or Brady. This will end on August 19th. So that's a that's a limited solo. Make sure you get these done as quickly as possible because this is on a timer, only seven days. So you'll miss out on your free power up. Again, they're going to be cheap, but it's free. Go play through them. Shouldn't take too long. The Mahomes sequence here has about, give or take, 10, about 10 solos, right? That's what it is. Three in the fourth quarter. Pass for five yards. Takes a second. Pass for scoring three touchdowns. That'll take a little bit longer. Score a passing touchdown. Going to be very, very simple stuff as you guys can see through all these. So go get these done. Should be super simple to get your Mahomes and your Brady. And then, of course, guys, the 80 plus overall nap power up, which you will be getting at the end of this over here. Um, guys, this is also your fantasy pack, like your other stuff, your curated fan, not the curated, this is just a fantasy pack for the power up. But the nat 80 plus overall Corley, that could be Stefan Diggs, that could be Devonta Adams, that could be Tyreek Hill, that could be Mike Evans. There's a lot of potential for that. It could be horrible, but it's free. It will be nat, you can't sell it. You can get Hopkins. It's going to be a fun pack. So definitely go through there. Get your free players. And here's my best recommendation that I have to give to you guys. The reason the solos are important and what I have to, I cannot emphasize this enough. If you have any fantasy packs, do not take your player yet, right? Do not take your player yet. Do not take it. If you have your 80, like your, let's say you get the pre-order packs, right? Let's say right now you go through your pre-order. Let's say you're watching this video a week from today and you have pre-order packs and you take the 82 overall basically wide receivers out of your pre-order packs and they're not. But then you go to the solo now and you play and you pull in that 80 overall plus. You could even get a duplicate and now you can't use one of them and they're not. So it's just kind of a waste. Also, 
let's say you go through your pre-order packs and you take a cornerback another cornerback but then you get Deion sanders free and then you get the free jc jackson now you gotta stop you gotta bench someone or not use someone you can't sell them so i can't stress this enough get your get the random packs first like the 80 plus overall player that you don't know about go through that in the campaign too you can see here you're gonna get gold or better nats gold or better nats you're going to get strategy cards four gold or better nats you're gonna get a lot of nat cards so make sure you are going ahead and getting all your nat cards first before you go ahead and select cards right like I, I can't stress that enough or you might you might get a you or also guys which i'll get to soon there's gonna be a free rookie premiere which i'm gonna go over that you can actually get without actually have done rookie premiere like do not go ahead and take trevor lawrence and then remember day one you get mahomes or brady like don't i'm, I'm just, just being honest wait and see what you get before you take any nats i'm gonna be letting all my nat cards sit there for a little bit i mean all my fantasy nat cards i'm not gonna touch them because i don't know i last year i took a fan i took a uh, wide receiver nat and then I opened up one of these gold nat players and I pulled a DeAndre Hopkins nat. And then I was stuck with him. And I'm stuck with two nat wide receivers and I'm not going to start those guys. So I can't stress that enough. If you have a fantasy pack, save it. You can always open it again later and pick when you're ready. You do not want to be stuck with cards, especially as a no money spent guy. That's just a, that's just a waste of coins. And I got to spend another 30, 50K to fill up position. It's not worth it. So next, guys, once you do all that, once you play your solos, you get yourself, you want to go look at the ultimate season now. If you can get all this stuff done, guys, and the gridiron solos, like I said, I can't show you yet. I'm on a high enough level. But when you do get the gridiron solos, you'll see them there. That's how you get the JC Jackson. So make sure you go through there too and collect your free players. Like I said, get all the players out of the way first. Get your You want to get your whole team set with all the free players. Once you have that set, then go ahead and, and don't buy cards yet either. Do not buy cards off the block unless it's for investment purposes. So next, you want to go to ultimate seasons. Now, the thing with ultimate seasons this year is going to be pretty interesting because it's going to be there's some pretty good rewards in there that I actually really do uh, like. And I think it actually could go a long way in being useful right now to start. So like I said, I wouldn't go through and play all of them. Like I wouldn't go through and try to I remember these are objective based and like there's things you got to do to get them. So make sure you guys are playing your objectives, doing all your stuff as well as real quick daily objectives what to do first make sure you get your daily objective done for the day i gotta get that done right after this video because if you do miss a day on this it's going to set you back and getting the ultimate champion camp chancellor it's going to set you back on power passes and everything so make sure you are getting your day ones done you do not want to miss one of these it really sucks later on in the year trust me so ultimate season rewards like i said i wouldn't go to max level 50 it's gonna take a while i would just try to get to level 10 for a few reasons first off at level five What's it doing? At level five, you do get a season champion fantasy pack. If you guys know what that is, you get a choice of Devin Hester or Junior Seau. I'll probably make a video going over it later, which one's better. I recommend Devin Hester currently, though. Um, Devin Hester will start off at a lower overall. And every 10 overalls, 10 levels, I should say, level 15, level 25, level 35, 45, you will get an upgrade collectible for the Devin Hester all the way up to like a 90 speed Devin Hester with like 90 route running, which is really, really good. So make sure you guys are going through like i said it's gonna be hard to get to 45 so don't worry about hester too much but you want to get to level five to pick your hester or pick your say out and then at level 10 you get something that i think is super cool that they added because again guys i was one of the guys who didn't get my record premieres done i wasn't playing towards the end of the year i was kind of off the game a little bit i completely missed out on the deadline i was, just, I was on vacation actually which was the worst part but level 10 right oh my god i keep skipping over it level 10 right here on the right reach level 10 you'll see it right above my head right there to earn a nat 86 overall rookie premier fantasy pack that means you get to get jamar chase or pitt so if you didn't get anyone if you didn't do work premieres last year you can still get pitts and jamar chase well one of them right so if you guys don't know i did make a video going over the best ones to take you can go watch that video but overall i'll probably i want pitts because he's a tight end with super fast but you do get the free george kittle later on guys also another thing if you go through your ultimate season around like level i'll show you in a second I'll show you in a second it's around level 46 but uh, yeah, so you get the Nat Player Pack, so you want to get to level 10. After that, everything else is cool, but it's going to take a while. So just focus on getting to level 10, and you could chill out. But then as you go on down, guys, you get some Elite Packs, you get some Strategy Items. But more importantly, as you come on down closer to the high stuff, let's see where the guys are here, you will be getting two more free players. And by the way, Nat Linval Joseph 89, Defensive Tackle, another thing. Maybe don't take a Nat Defensive Tackle, because you're going to get one. And then at level 40, where was it, 40... Level 50, you get George Kittle ultimate season 91 overall in that. So now tight end. So maybe you don't want Pitts, right? Now Pitts is going to be faster by two speed, but George Kittle still George Kittle, right? He's going to be a better catcher, better route runner. So like I said, don't take too many tight ends because you may end up with two of them not off the bat. You may end up with two defensive tackles not off the bat. So just be careful picking the Nats. So once you're done with all that, guys, that's my what's do first mainly right there. That's it. Again, ultimate champion camp chancellor. I don't think that's something you're doing first. That's going to take some time. That's going to take a lot of time. Quite honestly, it's not going to be something quick. It's going to take a while. You're going to have to go through. If you're, if you're a grind, you could probably get it done in a relatively good time. But look, like to get it, to earn the champion, reach level four, score touchdowns, you'll get them pretty easily. 
but to get everything you'd have to do your daily challenges as well which is why that's important because that you that you if you miss you, you there's no making that up but everything else guys camp can come after uh, of course as soon as you get everything done we only have 10 hours in the trial so guys my best advice be efficient don't worry about the auction block unless you're investing use your 10 hours wisely if you sit on the auction block for three four hours of that trying to snipe and stuff it's not going to work out too well you're going to waste your time go through the campaign play your early access solos go play the gridiron solos come back to ultimate season and of course get your premieres and be very careful with the nat choices like i said everyone open packs as that's fine go open the bundles i recommend the elite pack bundle it was kind of fire it was very fire you've probably seen that already if you haven't go check that video out but yeah guys it's better for the video i covered just about everything i want to do for what to do first that's my best advice and tips i can give you for day one if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always guys can we get 150 likes like i said every like helps so if you're just watching the video you even watched it for a minute anything any bit of this info helped you like the video comment down below poodle squad to be shouted out and of course guys if you need coins head over to mutt reserve you should have seen the intro by now if you need coins you know where to go you should always use code poodle and yeah thank you so much for watching guys shout out to all you guys for all the day one support i really appreciate it but yeah i'm out peace